Hi, I'm Mike from Greenway. Welcome or welcome back. Well, today I wanted to share with you a little story about my car I've re purchased recently. It's a used Nissan Leaf 2015. It has the 24 kilowatt hour battery and something I always do before buying and after purchasing is check with Leaf Spy to see the status of the battery condition, the state of health. And curiously, as I drive this one, over the past few weeks I've driven it around 1,000 to 1,100 kilometers, around 650 miles. The battery health has been increasing, which is not usually what happens. Usually, as batteries age, they decrease. So let's take a look at some of the stats here, and I'll show you what I've been finding, and maybe we could try and figure out why this is happening. So please join me. In the next few minutes here, I'm going to be going through something called state of health, which is a measurement of the battery's capacity compared to when it was brand new. And I'm using an app called Leaf Spy to measure that. So I'm connecting to the car through a Bluetooth dongle, connecting into the car's computer, and it's telling me what the state of health or uh, remaining battery capacity available is on the car. So not to confuse it with a charge level where you charge it, say, daily if you're recharging the battery. No, this is how much capacity the battery currently has compared to when it was brand new. So at 100% uh, was, uh, when it was brand new, it was at 100%. And now it's decreased to a certain level. But what's happening for me is that level normally keeps decreasing as time goes on, as the years pass by and the miles and kilometers pass by. But in my case, that number is going up. Okay, let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's a picture of what the Leaf Spy reading looked like shortly after I got the car. So you can see here our state of health on the top uh, center is 77.18%. And our HX level, our battery performance level is at 57%, which is fairly common and fairly standard, I think, for vehicles of this age. And the uh, odometer is at uh, 133,700 28 kilometers. Uh, there's quite a few quick chargers on this car for its uh, age, and then we've also got 3,800 level one and two AC charges. So nothing too terribly surprising for a vehicle that's over 10 years old, and I thought these were pretty good stats, but this was a record of what I was looking at a couple of weeks ago. So let me show you now what the battery shows today. All right, this is the new status as of today. So in the top row, we're looking at state of health again, SOH 80.01%, gone up by about 3%. HX is at 62%, that's gone up by several percent as well. HX is a measure of performance, battery performance, and how well it can deliver power to you. I have a whole separate video about HX and what it means. And also we can see the odometer has increased somewhat as well. And I haven't done any of those quick charges, those level three charges, so that's still the same. And then we've done several L1, L2 charges uh, in the few weeks that I've owned it. So maybe let's put the information side by side here and see how much things have changed. By the way, if you wanted to learn more about how to read the details on this screen and how to use Leaf Spy, I have an entire separate video describing it in great detail, which I won't go into here, but it's on my channel and it's called How to Read Leaf Spy, the most important screen. Okay, well, let's take a look at these things side by side. So in, on the bottom section, that is the old reading and the top section is the new reading. So let's just go from left to right and I've done some math here already. So the number of amp hours is the measurement of the total capacity of the battery. It's gone up by plus 1.76 amp hours. Secondly, if we go over to the right, state of health or SOH has increased by 2.83%. And the third one is the HX or battery performance level. That one has gone up by 
5.18%, which is quite a big increase actually. And then you can see the next row under, I calculated the number of charges I've done since I got the car and it was 25. So I've plugged it in 25 times, recharged it 25 times. So that's, I think, valuable information as well. Okay, and let's take a look at the data in a little bit of a different way as well. Let's take a look at our odometer. So we've traveled 1,079 kilometers since I've owned the vehicle and since these two readings were taken, or 674 miles, and that was our 25 charges that we did. And if you look at the average number of kilometers we were doing per charge was 43 kilometers or 27 miles per charge. So maybe we can transfer this information over to a spreadsheet, take a look here and see if we can do some more ratios and figure out what's going on here. Maybe longer distance traveled per charge might be affecting it. I don't know, that's just a guess. I honestly really don't know why these values are improving so much. So I'd value your uh, comments down below, but let's uh, take a look now at a spreadsheet, see what we can find out. Okay, so let's take a look at some of this data here with, that we've captured. So this is all plotted into a spreadsheet, the data we were looking at earlier. These are all the different readings that we were capturing from LeafSpy. Then we have this row here, which indicates where our readings were two weeks ago, and then our readings now and a difference. So why don't we just quickly go through those. So we've got the number of miles has increased by 674. Number of kilometers has increased by 1079. A number of amp hours has increased, like we were showing before, by 1.76, which translates to a 2.83% increase in state of health. And also we are seeing a 5.18% increase in the HX or the battery performance. As I mentioned, I didn't do any quick charges. So we've still got the quick charges here at 737. And then the AC charges, I mentioned, I did 25 of those over the couple of weeks I've had it there when I've driven these uh, this distance and so then we've got a total number of charges so here I've added these together the quick charges plus the AC charges is 4561 now it's 4586 and then over the past two weeks I've only done a total of 25 charges so then what I did is I was kind of alluding to this earlier what I did is I took the number of miles per charge and kilometers per charge just out of curiosity to see what that is so i took this total number of 4561 divided it by the number of miles number of kilometers so i was getting i was in the car's lifetime before i got it it seems to have been charged every 18.3 miles or every 29.3 kilometers since i've had it that's increased just a, a tiny little bit but uh on, on the overall lifetime average but Here's the averages I'm getting now um, since I've been uh, running the car. So I've been only charging the car once every 27 miles or 43 kilometers. And why do I bring this up? Well, I'm just guessing that maybe that has something to do with the battery, um, you know, performance and uh, state of health increasing, especially these numbers here. I'm guessing maybe because I'm doing, what do you say, deeper discharges um maybe the battery is able to uh calibrate uh the the, the battery management system is calibrating its readings better uh just a guess i don't know um the other thing i've been doing with the cars i've been doing a lot of highway driving so i will drive it at highway speeds you know 65 miles an hour 100 100 kilometers an hour and i'll drive for quite a while and i'll drive it from full to you know just under half to a third of a charge uh, i am doing some city driving some slower driving as well so so there is that uh, as well but i wonder if with the high number of amps i'm pulling out like if i'm driving quicker um, i am pulling out a higher number of amps out of the battery quicker i wonder if that's causing the battery to heat up a bit more which when a battery is warm, they tend to uh, produce their power uh, better when they're warm. And I should say warm and not hot. So the temperatures, uh, ambient temperatures have been around 
maybe 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. In the nighttime, it goes down to right around freezing, 32 Fahrenheit, 0 Celsius. And the daytime, somewhere around 10 Celsius, 50 Fahrenheit. So it's been on the cool side, which means if I do warm up the battery, the battery is not warming up to an overheating temperature. The battery is just warming up to a comfortable temperature. So that may be another reason why uh, the so it could be the temperature of the battery it could be these deeper discharges uh, it could be just i'm doing highway drive more highway driving i have no idea what the history of the car is if it was mostly used for a slower city driving or mostly used for faster highway driving but um th those are some of the things that i've done with the car since i've owned it and the other thing is i am uh, I mean, it, it only took me a couple of weeks to add up this uh, distance here that we've got. So, uh, you know, there's not something I did over the course of three months. I did this over the course of a couple of weeks. I just put it into my daily driving routine and uh, started to use it as my daily driver. I had to uh, see how the performance was. And to my surprise, you know, we went over that 80%. And I think if uh, and on the dashboard right now, the car has 10 of its battery health bars out of 12. And I think that if the battery health had never gone below 80% or even 79%, I think it should still have 11 of its battery health bars. So currently it still has 10. That's what I had on it when I, when I got it. It only had 10 bars and it currently has 10 bars. And uh, as far as I know, I don't think those ever come back. Uh, that once they're gone, they're gone. But um, I can see how when I started out with 77%, that, uh, as far as I understand, is in the zone where the second bar should disappear and where it should only have 10 battery health bars. But now that we're back up to 80%, we should back, be back up to 11 bars. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all the stuff I've been doing with this car. I'm not sure why it's... Uh, resulting in these uh, numbers here but I thought I'd put it out there and see what you thought and and let me know your thoughts okay I wanted to say thanks for watching this far into the video maybe if you're watching this far in maybe I hope you're enjoying it and if you are if you are please consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribing for other videos anyway back to the car so um, it's also interesting I thought I'd mention too is that uh, as the temperatures have been getting colder, it's going into fall, so the temperatures are decreasing right now, exter you know, exterior ambient temperatures. And uh, what happens with the uh, leaf is that those SOH, state of health, and HX numbers do eventually lock themselves in once it gets below a certain temperature. And when I say temperature, I mean battery temperature, not ambient temperature. So I find that in the mornings, if it's quite cold outside and if the car has been sitting in an area that's quite cold, um, it's not uh, changing those numbers. But uh, throughout the day as I'm driving, the battery gets warmed up. And then uh, when I'm at work, it's charging up. And then when I'm driving home, it's warming up. So those numbers do change later in the day when it gets warmer. So I thought I'd mention that too, just as uh, another tidbit of information I've noticed as I have been monitoring this information every day. And I realize that, so if we think of, you know, the average leaf driver who never looks at leaf spy and just looking at their dashboard, their instrument cluster, they'll see those 10 battery bars out of 12, those longevity bars. So the average person will probably never notice any of this stuff that I've been looking at in this spreadsheet. And that's probably for the best because I think just like looking at the stock market every day, you may see increases or decreases that are going up and down and they may not, may not be meaningful. In this case, I wonder if these increases I'm seeing are really all that meaningful anyway. Am I just uh, getting a more correct reading because the battery uh, management system is able to do a better job of measuring the battery or is there something chemically going on in the battery that's actually increasing is it because i'm doing deeper discharges maybe i'm reaching down to new lows inside the battery and um, sort of waking up uh, the battery I, those aren't technical terms i know but anyway i'm just scratching for uh ideas here and see see why uh, the numbers are like they are actually since i've been uh, putting this video together 
even today, I, the last couple of days I've been putting the video together, even today the number went up even more, just slightly, but uh, it's still going in that direction. So I'll keep monitoring it, although right now it's getting quite cold, so it might stop uh, adjusting and it might be uh, sort of springtime until I'm able to see adjustments again in the state of health or HX numbers. Anyway, that's the story on my 2015 Nissan Leaf. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, appreciate your attention today. Um, I hope you have a great day and uh, take care. Bye-bye.